North Carolina lawmakers are busy battling not in the legislature but in the courtroom. This after various Republicans and Democrats filed lawsuits in response to what lawmakers did over the weekend. Michael Hyland from our sister station in Raleigh has more. The first opportunity after this weekend's legislative session. This type of conduct is not acceptable. Chris Anglin went to the courthouse and filed a lawsuit. I am frustrated and disappointed, quite frankly, that they would pass a law which is so clearly in violation of the Constitution. On Saturday, Republican state lawmakers led the effort to override two of Democrat Governor Roy Cooper's vetoes of laws impacting this year's judicial races and several proposed constitutional amendments. One new law affects Anglin, removing his party affiliation from the ballot. He's a Republican candidate for Supreme Court. But Republican Party Executive Director Dallas Woodhouse describes him this way. All he does is attack Republicans. I mean, he is a Democrat. He is put in the race to try to fool the voters, and we don't think that's right. Anglin just switched his party registration from Democrat to Republican in June. Republicans fear he did it to split the Republican vote. He and current Republican Justice Barbara Jackson are facing off against one Democrat, Anita Earls. Who are they to make the determination of who is a Republican and who is not? But was this specifically targeted at him? No, I mean, this, there are a number of people that are wrapped up under this who changed parties at the last moment. Anglin is trying to get a judge to block the law from taking effect. The timing is important because state election officials need the final information to print up ballots for the fall election later this week. Michael Hyland reporting. Now, the judge told the state not to print up or certify any ballots and wants everyone to come back next week before making a decision on whether what state lawmakers did was constitutional. None of your side wanted to hear what representatives in the East think about Governor Cooper's lawsuit. Republican Greg Murphy says that Governor Cooper's lawsuit is a waste of taxpayers' money, while Democratic Senator, State Senator Don Davis says it's important the court act swiftly in responding to the governor's suit. Especially when you're dealing with a constitutional amendment, something that's going to fundamentally um, alter our state's constitution, that it's plain English that people can read, people can understand and does not have a political overtone to it. Whatever happens here, um, whichever direction the court decides to go, um, it's going to have far-reaching implications, not just for this administration, but for all future administrations. People will vote for candidates and the constitutional amendments Governor Cooper is suing over on ballots this fall.